Now guys, it's the last day of 2023 and there's no way I can let you go into the new year without having a thorough understanding of the clip editors in LumaFusion. So today we're doing just that. But your task is to go through your projects and make any necessary changes to the clips in order to polish up your content. You'll know that by double tapping on a clip on your timeline, you'll have access to the various editors where you can easily change the frame and fit of your videos along with the speed, stabilization and add any color changes or effects. My advice here is to go through the timeline today with each of these editors in mind, one at a time. So start by watching your story back, taking great care to pay attention to the frame and fit of your content. That's how your video sits in the frame of your preview here. Any changes you need to make, just double tap, make sure you're in the frame and fit editor and adjust your content accordingly. If you want to get fancy with your content and have more than one clip on screen playing at once, just make sure they're layered neatly on top of one another on the timeline and adjust them so we can see them both playing at the same time. In the frame and fit editor, we can also keyframe the position of our clips. So if you want to make any snazzy effects, like for example, creating the Ken Burns effect with this preset here, where you can zoom in and out of content gradually to add a bit more movement to your storytelling, you can do, or you can just go really wild and create some funky scenes manually by turning the keyframes on as you edit. Any of these attributes over here in the control stack can be keyframed, so don't hold back here. Get creative with not only the motion of your clips, but also the cropping and blending modes to create some unique looks when footage is layered on top of one another. Once you're happy with the frame and fit of your projects, move through the timeline focusing on the speed of your shots, where you can really have some fun splitting clips and altering the speed to create some interesting looks and make slower clips a bit more engaging. Be sure when slowing clips down to keep the frame rate of your shots in mind. Remember this white little line will tell you the slowest you should go in order for LumaFusion not to duplicate frames on your timeline and your clips looking a bit stuttery. So don't go lower than that white little line there. This stabilization feature is great for those videos where perhaps you got a bit too shaky when you're opening Christmas presents or in my case, pouring the fifth Baileys of the night. Use this to help straighten out your content and adapt the strength to suit. Once you've gone through the timeline, adding the stabilization feature where needed, head into the audio editor whenever you have spoken word or noise in your project. Bring the gain of your interviewee or your piece to camera audio up to the same level as your voiceover, making sure to keep an eye in the DBFS range here. You don't want the audio heading into the red zone as it might clip, so just look for the audio to hit the top of the light green zone for clean sound. Make sure here that you also mute any B-roll you want, or you can choose to mute an entire track down on the timeline if you choose to do so. A good tip here is to listen back to your clips one after the other to make sure the volume flows the same throughout, rather than simply one at a time. Once you're happy with the audio levels here, it's finally time to head into the color and effects editor where you can color correct your clips and add things like blurs, distortions, and a wide variety of customizable styled effects. Remember that you can combine and reorder these to find the festive look you're going for. So get creative here and use keyframing to create something unique and a bit different. Remember that any changes you make to one clip can be copy and pasted to the other shots on your timeline. And if you develop, in this case, a stack of effects you want to use in future projects, you can save them as a single preset to be stored in your app and used later on. Maybe in 12 months from now, who knows? Okay, now everybody stay calm, but it's at this stage that we can start getting all Christmassy. We can add music, we can add text, transitions, overlays, sound effects, and all the other festive goodness we can find. But for now, we must go and count in the new year. So cheers to you, and we'll see you in 2024.